how to find the maximum speed in a spring mass system we know that kinetic energy can be expressed as ek equals 1 over 2 mass by velocity squared and we know that the elastic potential energy can be expressed as ep equals 1 over 2 kx squared now if you want to look at the mass of the system at the maximum displacement and the mass of the system at the minimum displacement it will look like this so this is the mass of the system at the maximum displacement and this is the mass of the system at the minimum displacement then in this case the potential energy is at it is max because we know it is already charged with energy ready to release and go back to the equilibrium position and the kinetic energy is zero because the system stopped at this point and the velocity is zero over here you have the oscillator at the minimum displacement which is x equals zero and we know that here the potential energy is zero but the kinetic energy will be max and the velocity will be at max now we need to remember that the total energy of the system is constant regardless of the oscillator's position with that being said we can say that the total energy equals the potential energy plus the kinetic energy now the kinetic energy of the oscillator at the maximum displacement is zero and the total energy at this case would be e total would equal ep max and ek would be zero of course and the potential energy at the minimum displacement is zero so the total energy for the oscillator at that position would be e total equals ek max and because we know that the total energy is always the same in an isolated system which is the case in here we have ek max to equal the ep max or e total at position one equals e total at position two so ek max equals ep max you can represent those with the equations behind them one over two mass by velocity squared max equals one over two k x squared max let's represent a instead of x max so it can be written this way and we can start to simplify the equation and we have 1 over 2 will be gun by 1 over 2 as well on the other side and we have mv squared max equals ka squared and we have v squared max equal ka squared over mass that means the v max would equal the square root of k by a squared over m a squared under the square root can go outside and become a so the maximum speed v max for the mass spring system can be represented as a multiplied by the square root of k over m let's take an example on that you have a hundred grams mass hangs motionless from a spring attached to the ceiling the spring constant is 1.014 newtons per meters the instructor or the guy is pulling the mass through a displacement of 40 centimeters down and release it he say find the acceleration when the mass is at the displacement of 15 centimeters up and the maximum speed of that mass now to find the acceleration this is what is given and this is what is required let's start with branch a of the problem and you can see the demonstration for what has been described in the question over here we pulled the mass down and we let it go so the mass retracted it's been pulled 14 centimeters down and it retracted 15 centimeters above the equilibrium point so we can start with the force analysis f net would equal in this case the f return and f net can be represented as mass by acceleration equals minus kx in the spring mass system for the f return then a in this case minus k x over m replace what is given for you over here it would give you the acceleration for the system is minus 1.52 meters per second squared and for the maximum speed we know that v max equals a by the square root of k over m now what is a in this case we said a is the maximum displacement and we said the maximum displacement here is 40 centimeters which can be represented in meters as 0.4 replace a with 0.4 by the square root of k what is k 1.014 over what is the mass 100 grams and to keep up with the units we need to convert that to kilograms so that would be divided by a thousand would give you 0.1 kilograms and the v max would be 1.27 meters per second 